What's happening? What's happening? New Year's Eve. Damn near 2018. Uh, North versus South. Uh, I got a little history with North versus South. Uh, I remember when um, starting up National Action Network Atlanta chapter, uh, that being up under uh, Reverend Al Sharpton. Um, this is before, of course, uh, now representing Save Ourselves. But I can remember uh, entering this organizational movement. Uh, and uh, even though the organization represents the people, uh, everybody identifies it with the gentleman from the North. I remember the pushback that I received. And the only reason I overcame it are one of the reasons, because uh, one of the reasons I overcame it was because of uh, I'm from Atlanta Metro, the A, College Park, unincorporated South Fulton, now South Fulton, uh, but also the consistency in the work. But it was as if we were almost fighting the civil war on a civil rights platform. Folks from the South didn't want to mess with folks from the North. Folks from the North feeling a certain way about folks from the South. That still goes on today. Uh, but that's on a national level. I want to deal with the North versus South in our new city of South Fulton. North being Cascade Business Corridor, Sandtown all the way to the Camp Creek area. South being Old National, Roosevelt, Washington Road. Districts 1, 2, and 3 in a smidgen of 4 being the North. 5, 6, and 7 being the South. Listen, there are going to be some that I don't care what said, they're not going to agree. But the majority of us know that there is a storm brewing. You can even tell by the votes of city council. You normally have a group that votes one way and a group that votes another. And it's normally split down that imaginary Mason-Dixon line here in South Fulton. So what's the solution? Because I happen to have a home in District 7 and District 3. To happen to rub elbows with folks on on that and folks of Cascade. I've been doing that all my life. Streets in the suites, so to speak. Here's what I propose. There should be a coalition per district of community leaders that meet once a month. The number can be discussed, how many per district, but they, they should meet once a month. And there should be quarterly events of unification to be held all across our city and to be supported by all of the city. Not just if a gentleman's having a function down off Old National, only a handful of that community come. No, ma'am. No, sir. If you're so concerned about crime and safety and the upliftment of our people, then I don't care what section of the city a positive function is taking place. You need to support it. But again, more importantly or equally as important, uh, there needs to be quarterly, semi-annually, definitely annually city unification functions. And I mean joyous events, rallies, festivals, marches, uh, uh, 5K walk, 5K runs. I mean, listen, the list is endless on what we can do as a people to come together as a city. Uh, if we do not discuss the north-south divide, shame on us and it will continue to fester. It's a reason why old Nat is popping with crime like that. It's a reason why uh, Hispanic brothers and sisters can set up shop 
in a predominantly black neighborhood and pump out cheap liquor and which results in cheap crime. It's the reason why Old National Highway uh, has been plucked of all of its resources. But the city can do something about that. And I can. I know they will. The government that we have in place, I know there's plans for the beautification of Old National Highway. Hell, the Aerotropolis project that's coming is, beautif is beautifying the entire area around Hartsville with Old National being the only street that runs through three districts in the city. The only street, Districts 5, District 6, and District 7. We can't have the other districts thumbing their nose down at the south side of South Fulton. In the same breath, we can't have those on the south side of South Fulton labeling the other districts as wine and cheese districts. This kind of rhetoric and, and, and thought process is dangerous. Many of you in other districts are from Washington Road, Roosevelt Highway, Old National, Ben Hill. So to act as if this divide or this ideology or this thought process doesn't exist, it's just not reality. Uh, it's classism happening here within our city. Our 89% black city. Our black mayor. Our all black city council. Our soon to be black police chief. We have such a great opportunity here, man. We are one of the blackest cities in the nation. Soon to be identified as where our position is. There's not much else to say about this north-south beef other than there's a gentleman who I'll choose not to name now uh, and myself that are working hand-in-hand -hand on an upcoming project, a unification project for the city to be held in a neutral district. And we're optimistically cautious that we will get the support that's needed from local government and you in implementing this ongoing series of unification projects. So don't be scared to talk about this north-south divide. Don't be scared to address it. But more importantly, don't be scared or timid or unresponsive when it comes to your role in unification. Peace.